Hi Karen, you're working on your volleys with Coach Bob. Here we see your forehand volley. We'll look at your backhand volley in a moment. This is in slow motion. If you looked at that, you saw your racket head drops after contact instead of going through the ball. You want to be able to go through that ball and drive that volley more decisively. See the racket head drops as soon as you make contact with the ball. Karen, here we see after your lesson, you see that was a beautiful volley. You drove through it and you got back in a ready position rather than dropping the racket head. So here you're going to drive through the volley and notice the racket will continue going forward a little. Now that one it dropped down a little, but you want to go forward through that ball a little more. Karen, here we see before and after. You see after you go through that volley, before you sort of chop down on that ball. So that was a big improvement. Imagine your racket going, continuing the direction of the ball into the ready condition. Karen, on your backhand volley, we see slow motion footage and you drop the racket hit a little too low, you're going up as you make contact. We want the opposite, the racket to start a little higher and to go under the ball, adding a little underspin. So keep that racket head a little higher. So you drop it right here, a little more under, even though it is a low volley. We'll take a look at it some more. Karen, after your lesson, here's slow motion footage again. Your racket face opens even though it dropped. It's a little higher and you're going through a little better rather than going straight up on that ball. But notice the racket face is a little more open. We're going to look at one more volley right here. It's a little higher and you're going through that volley a little better, more level. Karen, here we see slow motion footage of your backhand volley before on the left and after you see the racket face is more level and it opens up on the right right there at contact we're going to take one more look at it and you're driving a little better through that ball with a slightly more open racket face right there that's much better on the right 